Dear parent and students, welcome back to the Test Prep Card channel. Hope all of you are doing great in your life. We are once again back with one more very important topic, which is going to be engineering mode of admission in the Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. We will be discussing in detail about the mode of admissions, about the college options in the state of Andhra Pradesh for both Indian as well as the NRI candidates. So this video is going to be really important if you are willing to take admission in any of the college in Andhra Pradesh. Okay, so what we will be discussing in this video, we will be discussing majorly about the three basis of admissions or three types through which you can get admission uh, in the engineering colleges in Andhra Pradesh. So the first one uh, will be the national level entrance exam, the colleges which you will be getting through the national level entrance examination. The second will be the colleges through state level entrance examination. And the third will be the colleges like private college intense exams means some private colleges are also there some good private colleges are also there in the state of Andhra Pradesh okay so let us begin with the national level entrance examination uh, through which you can get admission uh, in the top colleges in Andhra Pradesh so uh, generally the national level entrance examination as we all know is in India is JE main okay you can get admission in top government colleges through JE main examination so uh, there are many colleges all over India which uh, give you admission on the basis of J-Main but the major uh, colleges which most of the students focus are IITs, NITs and IIITs. okay. There are about 31 NITs, okay, 23 IITs and 25 IIITs in India and out of them each one uh, NIT, one IIIT and one IIT is in Andhra Pradesh. So if you will target a very good rank, a very uh, top rank in J-Main, you can surely get admission into NITs or IIITs. And for IIT, you have to focus on the exam after J-Main. Means the exam you will be qualifying J-Main, then you will be sitting into J Advanced. And the, through J Advanced, if you get a top rank there, you can get admission into uh, into IIT also. Okay. So uh, what are the colleges that are present in Andhra Pradesh? Uh, the first one is. Uh, NIT Andhra Pradesh, NIT Andhra Pradesh itself. Second one, one is Triple IIT Sri City, okay, and the IIT present is IIT Tirupati. So these are the three best government colleges which are present in Andhra Pradesh, and you can get admission there through the examination called J Main, okay. So this is the basic thing about national level examination. Now, what is the eligibility to sit into J Main? So first of all. Uh, you should have passed your class 12th okay uh, with a minimum of 75 percent aggregate uh, this is excluded from this year due to the pandemic situation but from the next year onward it will be uh, the same like 75 percent you should get a minimum of 75 percent with physics and maths as a compulsory subject in your class 12th so this is the basic eligibility other than this you should uh, you uh, can attempt j-main consecutively three times like you have attempted it in 2021 uh, suppose then you can attempt it in, in 22 and 23 and you can't attempt it in 24 2024 okay so this is the basic eligibility of a je main examination but one thing to keep in mind that in order to get admission in these colleges you not you uh, not just have to qualify the cutoff you have to get a good rank okay in je main for nits and triple ITs and for iit you have to score a good rank in JE advanced okay so this is the basic thing for national level examination through which you can get admission in Andhra Pradesh now apart from these IITs and IITs and triple IIT you can also get admission in some state level colleges through this national level exam okay but we'll be discussing them later on under state level entrance examination now before moving ahead if you are an NRI candidate then test prep card has an NRI ebook prepared for you and the link for that ebook is in the description section of this video so i will recommend you that go through that nri ebook it will be really helpful for you all, okay so consider downloading it now let us move to the state level entrance examination through which you can get admission into top colleges in andhra pradesh so what is the state level examination state level examination is the ex examination through which you can get admission only in that particular state like uh, if you give national level examination you can get admission all over india okay but through state level examination you can get admission only in that particular state which is conducting that particular examination 
Now, what is the uh, state level examination in Andhra Pradesh? So, it is AP EAM CET, Andhra Pradesh EAM CET, and 30 plus top colleges uh, provide admission on the basis of uh, AP EAM CET in Andhra Pradesh. Okay. Uh, so, this exam will not be valid in other states. Okay. This will be only valid in Andhra Pradesh only. Now, what are the top colleges that provide the admission under AP EAM CET? So, some of those colleges are Andhra University College of Engineering and that is in Visakhapatnam. The other thing is JN uh, Technological uh, University College of Engineering, Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University College of Engineering. And the third one is Sri Venkatesh University uh, that is in Tirupati. And the fourth one is IIPE Visakhapatnam. So, these are the four top colleges which are providing admission on the basis of AP EAM CET. Okay. Now, what is the eligibility for Indian as well as NRI candidates? Now, the first eligibility is that candidates should have passed their class 12th with a minimum of 45% with physics and maths as a compulsory subject. And apart from this, chemistry, biology or CS. Upon, uh, from these three, one subject should be there, okay? But physics and math should be compulsory. The third one is uh, the candidates uh, which are uh, getting admission through DASA or CIWG category, they must have their ID and passport. This is the second thing. Third thing is character certificate, domicile and marks of class 10th, mark sheet of class 10th and 12th is also required. Okay, so this is the uh, required thing to get admission. What is the eligibility? Uh, for AP EAM CET. Okay, so hope uh, these two things are clear to you. Now, uh, let us move to the next topic, which is the private colleges. The colleges which I have mentioned, these are mostly government colleges which are providing admission either through national level examination or through state level examination. But now, let us move to the other type of colleges which are also good that uh, these are private colleges, but the fees is little bit higher compared to the previous colleges okay so uh, private college engineering entrance examination so there are many of the private colleges in the state of andhra pradesh which are providing admission on the basis of their own examination means they have their own entrance examination okay so there are more than 200 plus private engineering college in andhra pradesh andhra pradesh is generally a hub for engineering and they are providing engineering in more than 18 different courses so this is uh, for private college engineering entrance examination so which are the main private colleges uh, in andhra pradesh so first one is gayatri vidya prasad college of engineering this uh, its fees is around 6 to 7 lakh then is aditya engineering college then jmr institute of technology so this is all for the private colleges in andhra pradesh the eligibility and the uh, certificates required for the private engineering college in andhra pradesh are almost same as uh, the colleges under AP EAM CT means state level engineering entrance examination. So you can again watch that and hope you like the video. If you like the video, uh, consider liking it, uh, consider subscribing the channel for more such content. And if you have any of the doubt, you can freely comment down in the comment section. Our team will reach you as soon as possible. Okay. Thanks a lot.